What's up YouTube man, welcome back to another video. As you can see, man, we're gonna start building some badass door panels. Before we get to that, we're about to walk into Walmart. I'm gonna show you a couple products you can buy from here to get started. We gotta buy everything that we need, man. so let's get it. All right, first item on the list is we need to get some uh, tape because we need to make some molds of the door panels. Pretty much any tape would probably work. You just gotta prep your door up right to make the tape actually stick. Just gonna get this one right here because like I said, as long as your prep's good, your piece of your tape will actually stick pretty good as well too. Okay, another thing you can get too is some sandpaper. They have it here at Walmart as well too. I actually need to get some gloves from Harbor Freights, but here at Walmart, man, you can just get some regular gloves here as well too. Uh, I'd probably just go buy, go to the dollar store and get some gloves, but the gloves are good for when you mix up your fiberglass resin so you don't get your hands dirty and none of that stuff. Always, whenever you do any type of working, man, you know, you're better off working a lot better when you're like clean. The dirtier you get, the more mess you're gonna make for yourself. And we're gonna go ahead and get two of these one quart cups right here. So when we actually mix our fiberglass resin, uh, we can actually dump some acetone in it and clean them and reuse them you know, as much as we want for this project. Now you guys can use some of the plastic drop right here cloth uh, to put on the areas of your door panels that you will not be fiberglassing so you don't get no resin on it. The last thing you want is to damage the doors where the panel's not gonna be at. So it's gonna look really er ugly. So we're gonna go ahead and grab one of these guys. So we go ahead and protect the area of the door panel whenever we go to resin. One of the most important parts and the things that I actually like to get from Walmart is the fiberglass mat. The fiberglass mat man from Walmart is bomb guys. When you mix the resin up good and you lay it on there man, this thing's solid as a rock. Every project that we do man, I go ahead and get the mat. Since we're only doing two front door panels, I think mm, four. Yeah, I think I should get four because I have some left over from other projects. So four of them should be pretty good, man. We want a nice solid uh, mold when we do the door panels. So I think these two, these four right here is gonna do the trick, man. This is gonna, you can go ahead and get the fiberglass resin as well too. If you don't have any auto body stores or don't got the, the connect the good fiberglass resin, um, I don't tend to use it because I got the plug on it. Um, it's still pretty good. So it's all here. Same thing with like uh, the bomb doing and all that stuff. They got all that stuff here. So if you guys ever want to come to Walmart and get it, man, they got it. As well, they got sandpaper and all that. So if you were to use the fiberglass resin from Walmart, you would actually have to find the liquid hardener, which is this guy right here for $2.97. You can go ahead and get it. And you know, you have bundle spreaders and all that stuff here as well too. I actually need some stir sticks and you can find them at the arts and crafts section. Uh, you see they got the longer ones right here. I wish I would have found the little one. I'm actually going to go ahead and get these colored ones just because of the sizes. This is exactly what I need for $3.97. And these sticks are just intended for me to mix my fiberglass resin when I put the hardener in it. So I get that good mixture. Arts and crafts section, they got them, man. Another big factor that you're going to need to use building uh, fiberglass door panels is you're going to need a hot glue gun with some hot glue sticks to mount your wood rings and tools to the actual door panel itself and the Gorilla Glues I found that these are really bomb uh, but I actually got some at the house man but you can find them here in the arts and crafts section in Walmart. There's another heavy factor in building some door panels man is the fleece guys. You can either buy it by the yard or they have these uh, one and a half yards already cut up for you. Uh, I like to use the thick ones so when you actually lay your fiberglass resin on it man I think just hardens up pretty good. We're gonna go through all the fiberglass uh, resining and everything um, in the next few videos and all that stuff when we start building the doors but man you know Walmart you can find everything that you want to use to build some badass door panels okay so I think I pretty much got everything that I need from Walmart once we get to the house I'm gonna show you everything else that I got there that we are gonna be using for the door panels uh, minus the wood rings I do have to hit on my boy and he's gonna make me some because we need to make countersunk rings so the speaker girls can sit inside the actual lip but here at Walmart I think we pretty much got everything let's go cash out it is so hot here in Florida, guys. I'm not even playing, but it's actually, this is the perfect weather to do fiberglass door panels in. That's actually a big blessing on our part. It does rain here and there, but with how hot it is outside, man, th these door panels are going to cure 1,000% perfect. Um, once we mix, start mixing Bondo and resin and resining this and doing that, this is the weather that we want for this type of uh, activities, guys. This stuff 
I, I love this weather for this. Not just for me chilling because it's so hot. We were actually in Walmart and I showed you the fleece section, but this is the fleece that I actually have. The last set of door panels I think I did. Man, I just bought like three rolls full of the fleece. Uh, and we still have so much left over. I still got some in the attic. It's ridiculous how much fleece I got. Once we actually get done mounting the rings on the actual mold, uh, we actually stretch this fleece over those rings and over the mold to give us our shape. And that is going to make our door panel, guys. Um, we are actually going to be cutting this guy up. And then we're going to be gluing it down and everything. So you're going to want to stay and watch that process in these next few videos. Once this fleece gets used, then we actually are ready to use our resin that we have here. Uh, we have one little gallon right here, and we have a little bit of resin over here. I do have another gallon too. Um, these are the mixing cups that we actually got. I got MEKP over there with a booster on it. Uh, we got some paint brushes that we will be using. So once we pour that in there, put the MEKP in it, mix it up, then we can start using the paint brushes and applying the fiberglass resin on the actual fleece so it can harden. And like I said, guys, you know, subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications on so you can stay updated with all the door panel build videos. If this is your first time, you know, watching a video on how to do door panels, I will do pretty much a good tutorial and walkthrough of all the process. I'm talking about from removing the door panel, uh, getting the ideas, uh, how to prep it, how to make the mold, how much resin to mix, you know, all that stuff, guys. Everything from start to end, building a door panel, you're going to learn from these sets of videos. You obviously seen all the other stuff that we bought at Walmart, the fiberglass mat, uh, the plastic drop cloth, and you know, this is my glue gun that I told you about earlier at Walmart. I actually have the Gorilla glue gun. Man, this, this one's the best one for you guys to use, honestly. If it was battery operated, it would be so much better, but man, this guy is the truth. Same thing with the glue sticks, the Gorilla glue sticks, guys. Man, awesome, 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 man. This is a must-have if you're going to do some door panels. Tomorrow we will be doing the giveaway. Uh, at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, I actually got to wake up in the morning, finish putting a few entries in for some people that got entered. Um, and then I think by 8 o'clock, we should be ready to rock and roll. We're going to spin the wheel, and someone's going to win those four tools. So drop some comments, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Turn those notification bells on, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one.